Hi everyone, my name is Taylor LeBlanc and I'm here to pitch my campaign for great value. So my objective of my campaign is to increase the awareness of the features of great value so that all of Walmart's consumers can reap the benefits of quality products at a cheaper price. My strategy for this to, create, uh, to achieve this objective is going to be to simply educate the consumers that Great Value is an equal brand that can compete against any top competitor name brand product. So my target audience will be the general population, but specifically anybody that's trying to stretch their dollar, which nowadays is everyone, but the hope is that it would resonate with um, starting families and also college students looking to save a buck anywhere they can. So some quick explanations. The slogan will be quality simplified because that is what great value is, quality simplified. There's no frou-frou with the packaging. They're not trying to attract you because of a color. They're just trying to give you a quality product at the cheapest possible price. And the sacrifice of that is not having really fancy packaging. Um, the messages will be price before packaging and quality. So basically, those messages are they're helping the consumer by making their product as cheap as possible by focusing on the price rather than what they look like and then also always giving their consumers an equal product to competitors. Um, in addition, a quick explanation on my PowerPoint. You might think, oh, this is pretty basic. She maybe didn't put a lot of effort into it, but it's actually to emphasize what great value is. My hope is that my content that I'm explaining to you and that's listed on here is quality, but the appearance is not what should sell you on the idea. It's the content and the quality. So the uh, first component that I'm going to use in my campaign is a digital component. It's going to be called the Great Value app, and what a consumer can do to interact with this app is go ahead and type in the product that they're searching for. So the one that I've mocked up here is paper towels. So um, here it lists the hours, which is the Great Value brand, at $6.84. And then it has two others, which are competitors. And we have Brawny at $6.97 and Bounty at $9.84. This allows the Walmart consumer to go ahead and make an informed decision about price and product so that they can continue their shopping experience knowing that they've at least researched and seen what Great Value had to offer. In addition to the price comparison, there's also a search option for recipes and coupons. So let's say in addition to buying paper towels, well, there's a messy kids, a few messy kids at home, so they need uh, the paper towels, but then they also have to cook the dinner that the kids will eventually mess up. So with this, it's spaghetti is the example, and so you'll go ahead and search uh, spaghetti in the recipe and see all of the great value products that are offered in order to make spaghetti. And then in addition, let's say the pasta that you see is a little bit more expensive that you actually want to even pay. So you can go ahead and type in the pasta in the coupon box and go ahead and see if there's a coupon available for use. The next up is a 30 second TV spot. Um, I've mocked up a storyboard to go ahead and uh, give you a brief glimpse at it. So basically it's going to be a transaction at a Walmart. The customer will begin by placing their groceries on the runway. Then as the cashier is scanning the products, the $20 bill that the customer will be holding seems to expand and get larger. The cashier will declare the total and the customer will be shocked. Um, the transaction will continue as the camera shots angle to focus on the amount of groceries being purchased at a cheaper price. And then we'll end with the customer loading car and finally quality simplify the campaign logo. To so go along with the storyboard, I have a TV spot script here. And so uh, the highlights are the audio and the interaction with the Walmart uh, cashier. So the cashier will declare the total of $47.88, and the customer will be shocked and kind of fumble with his wallet and ask if, if he was sure he scanned everything. And the cashier will diligently check the receipt to make sure the item count is correct, and he will confirm and say, yes, sir, that's the price you pay for great value. And it will pan out and end the scene of loading the car and there will be cheerful music behind it. And there will be a voiceover that says, great value, price before packaging. And then quality simplified at the end with the accompanying logo for quality simplified. So next to the up is the social media component. I have mocked up a Tumblr blog page and I named it the Royal Standard. Um, I chose Tumblr because Walmart already has Twitter and Facebook feeds. However, a blog would enable there to be a more in-depth and lengthy conversation that 
Facebook doesn't give you without a read more dot 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 link and then Twitter only provides 140 characters. So basically what can happen on this blog is recipes can be shared and things like that but it's ma mainly a way for Walmart to communicate successes, progress, uh, consumer feedback, you know, stories, things that have happened in Walmart that have bettered people's lives and hopefully most of that uh, will center around great value because great value is trying to give Walmart consumers a great value of equal products at a lower price. So next up will be the Gorilla Marketing Campaign. What will happen here is a taste test between Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Great Value Cinnamon Crunch. The hope is that after a blind taste test, the consumers will pick the Great Value Cinnamon Crunch and be further educated that it is just as equal as a brand as Cinnamon Toast Crunch and that the only real difference is the packaging. And maybe even the hope that Great Value will taste better than, than Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Um, once the experiment uh, goes through, we'll also offer them a coupon for the Cinnamon Crunch to go ahead and drive that purchase home and hopefully make them a repeat purchaser. Um, my final component will be a print ad series. So the first will be um, one with a tagline of can you see a difference. What the image is is two spaghetti dinners and you can't tell a difference in the actual spaghetti content. So that is the main point of this ad. Now it states that one was made with a lot of different brand name, brand name products and then one was made with great value. There is no difference. You still receive a quality product, but you simply paid a cheaper price. The next will really focus on the product and not packaging theme. So as you can see, this Wave bottle has been dyed. There's been some very specific logos created for it and things like that. And there was money put into that. However, the Great Value bottle is a simple basic white with some purple and blue coloring. And it says Great Value, it's lavender detergent. The main point is that the Great Value detergent would still clean your clothes just as effectively as the Wave Lavender detergent was. The reason that Great Value is cheaper is because it, pro uh, it focused on the price and what was inside rather than what it looked like. Finally, uh, the last out with the tagline would be quantity made affordable. This drives home the point that with the money that you save with buying Great Value, you're able to buy more. You're able to pro provide more for yourself and for your family. Um, that is the entire reason that this ad is just simply a plethora of products. This is what you can buy with, you know, $70 or $50 when you buy Great Value versus spending $80 or $90 when you buy all brand name products. Um, so that is my presentation and pitch for you all, but I'll be happy to take any questions.